Hello there, it's me Sam again as always and thank you so much for coming to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a few things that you have to keep in mind in order to get started with backspinning in Virtual DJ, especially version 2021. They're also going to work for the other older versions of Virtual DJ, so don't panic if you're still using it. And of course, I always talk about keyboard mappings and of course, it's not going to miss here in today's video. I'm going to do this backspin, I'm going to give you a few types, a few combinations and a bonus keyboard mapping for this. But of course, before we get started, if you're still new and if you're watching for the first time, you're so much welcome to this channel, but make sure you leave me a thumbs up at least and make sure you subscribe because we have this virtual DJ content coming your way each and every time. I want to appreciate those who've been there before. Thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. And without wasting time, I think we should get started. Now, the first thing you want to talk about are the really the, the types of scratches i mean in backspin not scratches the types of backspin that we have these are going to be my own submissions i don't know what you have maybe you know about something like this before if you really knew what i'm going to talk about all today i'm sorry for boring you but you can take a look around but if you really want to explore more about backspinning let's look at the types that we have let's say we are playing this track So I'm not going to talk so much about this, but I'm just going to show you some of the mappings that we have for this. For the first one, I mean, I don't remember what the first one is, but I'm going to just go ahead and show you these mappings. Let's go to the area here. I'm going to show you this key. For the basic, for the basic backspin, I'm using this. I said loop and then roll by 0 0.125. And then the effects backspin will be active. I'll also reduce the volume to 80 while pressed because uh, this backspin increases the, the gain. I was supposed to reset the gain here to at least some percentage, but I didn't want to use gain. So I had to change the volume to lower it a bit just to make sure I reduce on the noise, especially when you're playing out to the crowd and then you press this, the sound will sound like it will come out weirdly. So you need to reduce on the volume a bit. That is for the basic one there. You can also change the size to maybe like 60, depending on what sound you're hearing out there. So if it's too loud, you can change it to 50 or something else. For this other one here, this one uses a loop and roll by 125, I mean 0 0.125 while pressed. And then the effects backspin also will become active while you're pressing on the key. And then there's a flanger effect that makes it sound as if, see if it's, it's wheeling down a bit. Yeah, something like wheeling out. So there's that flanger effect that gives it some flavor also while pressed. For this one, I have decided to change the volume to 50% because you know what this flanger effect does. It increases the gain of a song so much. So if you just play it to the crowd the way it is, you might be the worst DJ alive. And then the third one here we have this one here. This is a backspin will be active while pressed. And then the echo will come alive. This is the common one I talked about. This is what some, I mean, most DJs use. Backspin and echo. It's commonly known as backspin echo. That's what it does. Then my favorite, the last one that is stopping the song instantly. This one has a condition it's on, it, on itself. The condition is, if it is down, it's asking, is it down? If the key is pressed down, then let's put a loop and roll by 0.5%. I mean by 0 0.5 yeah you can change it to 0 0.125 or 0 0.125 but to me this sounds well after that the effects backspin this backspin effect will be active while pressed and then the reverb effect will also be active while pressed if not if if the button is up if i release it then the song should just stop it should not go anywhere else but stop that is all it does so those are the major types of backspin what I'm still looking for is also how to blend these two videos. Of course, when you're back spinning, the videos will be rewinding, like going backwards and all that. But I really want it to be as if someone is back spinning on Sony Acid or Sony Vegas or Acid Pro, something like that. 
So that's something I'm yet to find out. If you really know about it, please be free to share your ideas in the comment section down below. And I want to give you a bonus mapping for all this. Remember, we are going to backspin and all these effects might remain. So we need something to clear this. And we also need something to go maybe to a queue point and start playing again like you had. So the mapping that I did here is I'm going to use this other button here. And what I've assigned to it is it will disable all effects. These are the mappings. Effect disable all. And go to queue. So it will go to the queue where you started backspinning from. I mean, yeah, to the nearest queue. Not where you started backspinning from, but to the nearest queue to where you started backspinning from. And then it will play the song. I repeat. It will disable all the effects, whether reverb, whether echo, whether whatever is playing. It will go back to the nearest queue from next to where you started backspinning from and it will play the song for you again. This is what it does. Maybe it was playing. So that was it. It had to play that song from the queue point. It wasn't a perfect queue. But that is it. I hope you got the concept. So that's all you need about backspinning. There are other chords out there that really need coffee and time. So I still need to sit down and do a lot of coding for this. I mean a lot of virtual DJ script and do a lot of research to find out more. In case I find out any, I'm going to keep you updated. But if you have an idea or you want to share some idea with me, please do it down below in the comment section. I also have a WhatsApp group on so you can join in and then we'll share more of the the link is in the description down below. I have other videos. Please feel free to check out for more. Sorry for boring you if I really did. But I have other videos that are worth checking. So you can check them around and then subscribe to my channel if you're still new. I think we have to meet in the next video. See you again.